Good morning from Victoria Falls, 26th of July, and we are finally at the final. And the birds are going to have a tough race today, but at Liberation there's very little wind and it's nice and chilly. Good luck to everyone and may the best bird win. Okay. As I said, good luck everybody. We are here with our auditor who is verifying the winning pigeon. And um, we're showing that it has a wing stamp on it from the race. And we'll now be taking the sticker off the life ring to prove that this is in fact the pigeon that has won the race. And show it, if you can read it for us please, Peter. 07387 2173, Germany, DV. Okay, you happy Mr. Auditor? Yes, I'm happy. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here we have the second place winner at Victoria Falls. A very big congratulations to Daniel Hash. Well done, Daniel. Thank you so much. A really special pigeon. Um, uh, I think about 45 minutes behind the first bird. Uh, but the only two birds so far on the day, uh, indications are the birds have gone down for water at some point. It's been extremely hot. And we're very hopeful that we'll get some more birds this evening, but certainly tomorrow morning we expect after the temperatures have dropped to a reasonable level. So well done, Daniel. And what have you got to say about it? Thank you. So I'm just excited. Uh, I've been supporting the Victoria Falls race, being a shipper for them. And uh, it's been going on a couple of years now. I'm always happy to help them and support the race and promote it. And this is my first year actually being able to come to the race. And I'm so glad I did. <laughs> Oh, wow. I think we sent around 80 and only uh, seven left. So not so much, but hopefully the best will did, did stay. Overall, I think many losses. My dream is uh, to win from, from one till seven. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, you always have a dream and you hope, but yeah, you know, in one love raising is not so easy. It's very difficult. So when we have maybe one in the first 20, we are already happy. In general, and also for this race, I'd like to thank you, the organization, for giving us the platform to, uh, to send our pigeon and they take care of it and all the difficult things they, they do for us. So, in general, I have a, a lot of respect for the organization, also, especially for this, this year. This organization has a lot of troubles, I think, with maybe hawks and the weather and maybe the health of the pigeon. So, um, a big losses, but yeah, it's not an easy job. So. I still I respect them a lot. Yes, for sure. Yes, yeah, yeah. Even could a better race, we will send. 
I was driving in a car and I get a phone call, and you did your bin. So, <laughs> so that was that was really special because I expected the patient later. The patient already there, and you were first. I said it's, it cannot, but it, it was. So, yeah, as a sportsman, uh, maybe 50 years ago, I like to have a new goal in life. So when I started with the million dollar race, and at home you can yeah you can do maybe your own thing and you have experience and you have maybe a little bit of advantage about many things but in van Lof racing is you know not, no, nobody has an advantage it's all everybody is equal yeah it's, it's really fair so and the first time i i, I participate in the one million dollar race i i think i became 68 prize on the final and the people congratulate me i think 68 i think by myself i did say nothing i think 68 is nothing is bad but Later on, I find out Van Lof Racing has other other rules. Other uh, so in the first 100 is already good, but it's it's okay. So so that is not the way you are at home when you maybe you like to be number one or this is a different story. Yes. So but uh, but I like it. Yes, so, you raced against the world. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And also you get respect from the people. You think yeah maybe you have a name and you are not lose not afraid to lose your name. Yeah, but I said I'm a sportsman. I'm not waiting, uh, thinking every day oh, if my name is good or this. No, I do this for the sportsman. And, and uh, so, and sometimes you're good, and sometimes bad. Yeah, that, that's a sport. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And let's hope the best for everyone. Yes. Especially okay. for you. I'm supporting you today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, for sure I'm number one now. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, bye bye. Okay, good morning. Um, my name is Rob Conradi. Um, I'm a semi-retired vet. Um, since retirement, I've um, uh, concentrated exclusively on pigeons. Um, I've been involved in quite a lot of one off races, this is starting with the Sun City race, which is probably one of the first international uh, one off races in, in the world, um, which is probably the, the, one with the, the first one with a private quarantine station. I was there for sort of 10 years. Since then, I've been involved with, with more and more wind off racing. Um, the, uh, but the main part of my work is, is doing sort of diagnostic work on racing pigeons. That, that knowledge I carry over to, to the wind off races. In, um, at Big Falls, you know, sort of more or less from the second year onwards, I have um, been helping with um, obtaining microscopes for the, for the loft. Um, teaching the staff, you know, the sort of the, how, how to use the